Good evening, YouTubers. Merry Christmas, everyone. New Thai Travel Hymen 88. Welcome back to my channel. And tonight, as promised, I am going to show off my Christmas movie collection 2021 edition. As you can see, my Christmas films has been grown since my last year's video. If you want to check it out, it's up there on YouTube. I'll put the link in the description below. So anyway, there's lots to go through. This might take a couple parts to do this. So, yeah. Before we get started, I'd like to give a quick shout out to Ashley Griffith. Ashley, if you're watching this, your videos are excellent. Keep up the good work. Make sure you check out her channel on YouTube. I'll put the link in the description below. And another shout out goes to Julie Cassidy. Julie, keep up the good work. Make sure you check out her channel as well. I'll put the link as well in the description. So let's start with the clamshells, and when we go, then we go to the all the slip cases and the DVDs. First up, here's the 1986 VHS reissue of A Walt Disney's Christmas, and this is a compilation, I believe, back in 1985. Originally in 1985 tape. No, it's actually, it's 1982. Yes. But this is a re-release because it has an artwork that slides in. Let's take a look. Includes Once Upon a Wintertime, Santa's Workshop, The Night Before Christmas, Pluto's Christmas Tree, On Ice, and Donald Duck, I mean Donald Snow Fight. And this is in color, 46 minutes. Here's a tape with the sticker label with the oversized reels. The print date is September 30th, 1986. It has the same print date as on Bose VHS openings copy. And this tape still uses the Tape Master from 1985 because it's a reissue. All right. Then here's the 1995 VHS of A Flintstones Christmas Carol. And this is the promotional copy. The clamshell is not in the best condition, and this was originally aired in 1993. So you can tell. Featuring the voices of Henry Cordet as Fred Friendstone, Gene Van Der Pyl, and others. A modern tale of, of Christmas Carol. However, at the end, everybody got the bedrock bug. I've seen this before on TNT. Not not rated in its 90 minutes. Here's the tape with the sticker label. And the print date, if you can't see it, but I can make it out. July 7th, 1995. Can't tell about a dark lettering, but I can tell it. I uh, will plan to get the copy from Warner Home Video. Next up, here's Sailor Moon Hearts in Eyes. And this is the English edited version from Pioneer. That's when the Sailor Scouts battles the Snow Queen. Featuring the voices of Terry Hawks, Carrie I mean, Katie Griffith, Karen Bernstein, Susan Roman, Stephanie Morgenstern, Sarah LaFleur, Barbara Radacki, Tracy Hoyt, and others. 60 Minutes, not rated. Here's the tape with the sticker label. The print date, April 26, 2000. And it came with the business reply card. 
I seen this on Cartoon Network back in 2000. Because this plays the Deke music in this particular one. You're not going to find the Deke music on the, the Pioneer DVD because it is uncut. This is the English edited one that does have the Deke music on there. I know there is a Viz Media release of Sailor Moon um, S the movie, but it does not have the Pioneer, the Cloverway dub. Here's the 2000 VHS of Casper's Haunted Christmas. This I forgot to show in my last year's um, Christmas video collection. And this is a 2000. I've seen this on USA Network. Back when it's premiered in 2000 or 2001, it's in CGI featuring Casper's The Friendly Ghost performed by Randy Travis. Randy G in his one hour and 24 minutes, so that's 84 minutes. Here's the sticker label. The 49th week of 2000. All right. Next, the 1993 VHS of The Muppets Christmas Carol with Michael Caine and featuring The Muppets performed by Steve Whitmire, Frank Oz, and others. Directed by Brian Hansen. No, Henson. The movie's from 1992. And this VHS has this deleted song, which was sadly left out on the video in theaters because the parents will feel that it's a sad song. The deleted song also appeared on the special edition release. Rady G in his 89 minutes, Michael Caine. Here's a tape with the ink label. The print date, August 27th, 1993. All right. Here's the 1998 VHS of An All Dogs Christmas Carol. And this was originally aired on ABC. It's featuring the voices of Stephen Weber, Dom DeLuise, Sheena Easton, Ernest Bornine, Charles Nelson Riley, and B.B. Newworth. Directed by Paul Sabella. And the film is from 19... The TV film from 1998. Part of the MGM fam Family Entertainment. Rady G, it is one hour and 13 minutes. Here's the sticker label. The print date, October 12th, 1998. Next, I got here's the 1997 VHS of Babes in Toyland. Featuring the voices of James Belushi, Catherine Cavadini, Lacey Chapper, Broslyn Pinchel, the late Christopher Plummer, Charles Nelson Rowley, Raphael Sabarge. Directed by Tony Blue, I mean Toby Blue, Paul Sabella, and Charles Groshenorf. No, how you pronounce the last name? The movie's from 1997. Yeah. A Magic Ride. It's a to toy riffic, says Disney Adventure. Ready G in his one hour and 14 minutes. Here's a tape with the sticker label. The print date, September 9th, 1997.
Here's the 1994 VHS of the Nutcrackers, part of Warner Brothers Family Entertainment, with Darcy Chrysler, Damian Woodzell, Karen Nichols, Bart Robinson Cook, Macaulay Culkin, and Jessica Lynn Cohen. And it's directed by Emil Ardenlo, and the movie's from 1993. Like having the best seat anyone has, ha, no, like having the best seats anyone ever had for the Nutcracker, says Newsweek. Try, can't get it top of my tongue here. Is George Bouchin's The Nutcracker. A world of adventure and incredible beauty. Macaulay Culkin is excellent, says the late Joe Siegel of Good Morning America. Ready G in his 93 minutes. Here's the ink label. The print date is September 19th, 1994. Comes with his business reply card and more, which I'm not going to show too much because it will take too much time. Here's the 1999 VHS of I'll Be Home for Christmas with Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Also starring Jessica Biel, Adam LaVorga, Sean O'Brien, and Gary Cole. Directed by Arlene Sanford in the film is from 1998. Somewhere between L.A. and New York, Jake found the true meaning of Christmas. Ready PG in its 86 minutes. And this clamshell is so small. Here's a tape in a dark sticker label. It's a recycled tape from an unknown Disney tape. I'm not going to peel too much. The print date, September 1st, 1999. All right. Here's the 1997 VHS of Mrs. Santa Claus with Angela Lansbury. Whoops. It also has the late Michael Jeter, also starring Terrence Mann and Charles During, directed by Terry Hughes in the films from 1996. Absolutely endearing, says Chattanooga Free Press. This year, she'll deliver her own holiday magic. A welcome gift, says Variety. Brady G in his 91 minutes. Here's a tape with the sticker label. Tape number is 54. And it's printed in the 45th week of 1997. I'm going to show you one more tape before we stop, which is the 2000 and one VHS of Santa Who with Leslie Nielsen. Also starring Robin Lively, Steve Echoholt, Max Moreau, and Tommy Davison. In a heartwarming and a hilarious tradition of Santa Claus. So we used to know Dory Atkinson used to own this tape. But it's mine now. Ready PG and his 88 minutes. All he wants for Christmas is his memory back. Here's the sticker label. The print date, October 31st, 2000. It looks like it's from 2000. Yep. All right. That's it for part one. Stay tuned for part two. We'll be right back.